In this Wild Eye Photography Lightroom tutorial, I'm going to edit this photograph in full, achieving this result. I have some really great dodging and burning techniques to show you, as well as techniques to deal with bright spots in the background and ways to add more mood to this largely flat photograph. Welcome to the channel everyone. My name is Mark Dumbleton and I'm a professional Wild Eye Photographer from South Africa. I publish videos every Sunday about all things relating to Wild Eye Photography. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let's get started with the tutorial. To start with, I'm going to choose Adobe Standard and go down into detail just to turn all the sharpening off for now and go on to Lens Corrections and remove Chromatic Aberration. I'll do that to every photograph I edit. So looking at the image now, I think the image is very bright. It's very flat. I want to add or emphasize the light coming from the left-hand side. And I just find the separation between the subject and the background in terms of brightness to be very much the same. So I want to darken the background and add some light onto the bird and also darken some parts of the bird to emphasize that light direction. So to start with, I'm just going to drop the exposure a little bit, open up the blacks, and to add some whites in here. I'm going to ignore what it's doing to the background for now. I'm just interested in what it's doing to the subject. Got some clipped whites in the background there, but that's okay. I'm going to soften the blacks a little bit. I don't want anything to be too black. It was late afternoon and I'm going to eliminate quite a bit of the contrast to bring out a softer mood to the image. I'm going to raise a little bit of the shadows. And one thing that's distracting for me personally is the green in the background is very strong. I'm going to drop the saturation there to bring out a bit more mood. And to do that, I'm just going to use the color mixer and drop down the green saturation a bit. Not too much, just a little bit there. It helps the subject stand out and, and brings out more of the color in the bird. And to drop down more exposure. And although the bird is looking a little bit dark at the moment, it's, it's okay, I'm going to selectively edit the bird. Okay, that's looking much better. Now, what I want to do is add a vignette effect, and I want to sort out these very bright patches in the background here. So I'm going to choose a linear gradient. I'm going to click and drag down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the subject here, just so that is not affected by that linear gradient there. And I'm just going to drop down the exposure just a little bit, like that. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to selectively, using a radial gradient, create a mask over those bright areas. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to drop down the highlights just to bring the exposure a bit more in line with the background, something around about there. And then I'm going to go here where it says color and I'm going to add a green color into that selection. So I'm going to try and match that color so we want to create basically an effect of that foliage in the background creeping up above where that, or in front of where that sky was. So it's very important to match the color properly so it doesn't look unrealistic. Something around about there. And then I'm going to add the same effect to this area on the left hand side, but I'm going to then duplicate this mask so I don't have to go create the color effect again. So I'm just going to click and duplicate that mask click and drag it over that second area. Let's just rotate this a little bit here. And I'm not going to worry too much about the fact that there's a dark patch there. I'm just going to focus in on that color. Something around about there. Okay, so while we're on the background, there's a couple, let me just move this. I feel like it's affecting too much of that section. While we're on the background, there's a dark patch I don't like there, and there's a dark patch there I don't like either. A quick radial gradient just over that area. And I'm just going to drop the contrast. Maybe raise up the blacks a little bit there. And then again, duplicate this one. And just put it over that dark patch there. So that's looking a bit better. The background is less distracting at the moment. I feel like this linear gradient may be a bit too dark. Okay, so now I'm going to create a vignette on the background across the whole image. So a radial gradient over the subject. I'm going to invert that. I'm going to subtract the subject. And I'm just going to make more of a vignette there. 
Something around about there. Not too much. Okay, I'm going to drop the saturation again on the green, just a touch. I think I might cool down the image very slightly because I'm going to add in some warm light coming from the left hand side. I'm liking that, I might adjust the shadows just a touch there on the bird. Before we add the light, I'm going to zoom in onto the bird here. I'm going to use a brush. I just want to brighten the eye on the bird. And especially just accentuate these highlight details here. So you can see I haven't painted across the whole eye. I'm basically just painting across the highlights. And I'm just going to take the white slider just to add a little bit of punch and clarity to that area there. I might just add in some clarity. Okay, so that's looking really nice. It's accentuated that light on that eye very nicely there. I'm just finding another distracting point on this sky here. I'm just going to darken this a little bit using a linear gradient. Something around about there. All right, so now for the fun part. I'm going to add in some light from the left-hand side. I'm going to add some dodging and burning onto the bird to reflect where the light is coming from. So to start, I'm going to use a radial gradient, make a nice big radial gradient here. Might just move that out of the image a little bit. And I'm going to increase the blacks. I'm going to warm up the temperature of that light and add in some dehaze or well, some negative dehaze. Just to really create that nice light coming from the left there. I'm going to subtract the subject from that selection. I don't want to affect that subject, only affect the background with that light there. I might just increase a bit of that exposure. And then also I'm going to add in some color, some nice warm light. Maybe something like that. I can tweak this maybe in a little bit. Something around about there. It might be a bit too strong, so I'm just going to adjust the amount of this mask. You can see going down to zero removes that whole effect. Just going to bring that up slightly there. Just want to darken the image just a bit more and increase the blacks just a bit more to create a nice soft mood. Okay, so now I want to brighten the left-hand part of the bird and darken the right-hand part of the bird, emphasizing that light direction. So I'm going to create a subject selection here. Now the subject selection isn't perfect, so I'm going to remove some of these areas from that selection. Now I would go in and create a perfect selection of my subject, but for time constraints, I'll leave it like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this as subject and i'm going to duplicate this subject selection and i'm going to rename this subject shadow and then let's just relabel this as subject light i'm going to add two separate effects to each of these subject shadow i'm going to add a darkening effect to the areas that should be in shadow and then on the subject light i'm going to add the light effect obviously where the sun is shining now i'm going to do that by intersecting a radial gradient onto the bird. Now I'm going to create a nice long radial gradient. So that is going to sit on the area that is facing the sun. What I can do here is I'm just going to increase the exposure just so I can see where that light is falling. I don't want it to encroach onto the areas that should be in shadow. I'm going to make this nicely feathered. So about there, we just rotate it to include the tail. So around about there. Now I'm drop that exposure down. So now you want to increase the exposure just to create that effect of light, not too much, and also warm it up. So you can see we've created a little bit of light just falling onto that side of the bird. Now to counteract that, I'm going to go into my subject shadow mask, I'm going to intersect that with a radial gradient, and I'm going to place this radial gradient on the opposite side that should be in shadow. Now you can also use a paintbrush for this. It gives you a bit of a better control over where you want the darkening effect to be applied. 
but for this I'm just going to use my radial gradient here. I'm just going to make it extremely dark just to see where the shadow is falling. Round about there. I'm going to just put that back to zero. I'm going to drop my exposure slightly and then cool that down as well. So you can see there's my darkening effect and there's the lightning effect on the bird. Now just to add in some more mood, I'm just going to go into vignettes again. Let's add in some more vignette, just to darken it a bit more. I might increase the subject light just a touch as well, maybe warm that up. And then I might increase the light effects coming from the left hand side just a bit more. Maybe not so warm. And then to finish off, I'm going to go into color grading. I'm going to add my usual blue color grading into the shadows. And then maybe just drop these a little bit here on the darker side. Maybe just warm up the image just a touch. I think it might work by adding a little bit of clarity to add some more detail there. And then I'm going to go back to the color mixer to drop the green saturation on the background. And then I might just try increase some of the brightness here. Adding a bit more contrast to the image. And then what I will do now is go into the detail and add some sharpening here. Hold down Alt while using the masking. It allows you to see exactly what you are sharpening. I like to use a low radius and detail of about 25. And the noise in the image is fine, so I'm not going to add any noise reduction. To gain a better understanding of how I add mood to my photographs, check out this video next. I share some valuable information which I think you'll find helpful.